हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गाइज वन ऑफ माई पेड स्टूडेंट हैज़ रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू मेक वन वीडियो ऑन ओ एस पी एफ एंड बी जी पी कन्फिगेशन इन डेटा सेंटर सीनारियोज सो गाइज दिस इज रियल टाइम सीनारियो इन दिस सीनारियो आई एम गोइंग टू कन्फिगर ओ एस पी एफ एंड बी जी पी टूडे ओके सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न हाउ टू कन्फिगर ओ एस पी एफ एंड बी जी पी इन दिस काइंड ऑफ सीनारियो इन रियल टाइम प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द and maybe video length of uh, this video can be lengthy because i am going to configure everything from the scratch but guys this video is going to be very useful for all network engineers okay so without wasting our time let's begin so see guys this is my scenario in this scenario i have two data center data center 1 and data center 2 let me discuss first data center 1 the design of data center 1 so see Here in data center one, I have only one distribution layer switch, right? Or in real time, maybe you you can have Nexus switches over here, right? But here in data center one, we don't have redundancy, so maybe in real time you will have multiple distribution layer switch, right? Maybe switch three, right? Or maybe one more switch will be there. After that, you will have some access layer switches, right? And all distribution layer switch switches will have connectivity with. access layer switches and then your server you will connect your resources with access layer switches so here you will place your resources like servers and how you will separate the services over here let's say you have you know multiple services in data center one like you have web service you have file service and many more so we can separate the services or department with the help of vlans so that's why in data center 1 i have three vlan vlan 10 vlan 11 and vlan 12 guys for the simplicity and just to make you understand the configuration i have designed very simple topology right so that's why i have uh, you know use only one distribution layer switch over here because if again you will have if you have multiple distribution layer switches here and you have lots of access layer switches as well then also configuration will be same right so here my main motive is just to make you understand the configuration part how to implement ospf and bgp in this kind of scenario so that's why we have only one distribution layer switch in both data center right but as i told you in real time maybe you will have multiple distribution layer switches then you will have access layer switches and then you will have connectivity connectivity like this right like this and then your uh, resources will be here right connected with access layer switches right and then you will have multiple vlans so on your distribution layer switch what you will do for all vlans you will create what svi right for vlan 10 you will create one svi over here let's say interface vlan 10 and there i am running ip what 192.168.1.1 let's say or 1.254 so this ip address will be the gateway for all the devices in vlan 10 so let's say i have uh, you know a uh, few servers in vlan 10 or let's say this server is in vlan 10 right so this will be the default gateway for this server getting my point after that here between your distribution layer switch 2 uh, this switch and this router you need what connectivity so definitely here you can you have to use a routing protocol dynamic routing protocol right because in real time also we are using dynamic routing protocol over here right in the between uh, edge router and distribution layer so maybe you you can use here eigrp or any other routing protocol but generally guys here we are running what ospf protocol in real time so here i am going to configure what ospf between edge router and distribution layer right or you can say between core layer and distribution layer right because on distribution layer you you are going to create svi and you have to make reachability between distribution layer and core core layer for that i will use ospf protocol in the same way here also i will configure ospf protocol again in data center 2 we have some vlan vlan 10 11 and 12 right and you can see the subnet what subnet i am going to use for uh, vlan 10 to 11 and 12 then here i have one branch you can see this is my branch in my branch there are again guys two campus campus 1 and campus Two. Let's say for campus one, I have one VLAN, right? That is VLAN ten. For campus two, I have one another VLAN that is VLAN twenty. And here I am using this subnet. Here I am using 
this subnet right like this in this branch maybe you can have multiple campus or like this maybe you will have multiple lots of branches right maybe here one branch is there right one branch is there like this again here in branch i have only one distribution layer switch so maybe in real time you will have one more distribution layer switch over here right so configuration will be same in this scenario also and if you have only single distribution layer switch also maybe there then you have to configure the hsrp protocol so if you know the hsrp configuration you can configure there right but here as we are not uh, going to discuss hsrp configuration or switching protocols configuration like stp or ether channel those things i have placed only one distribution layer switch in my branch as well as in my data center because here i am going to make you understand the routing protocol how to implement the routing protocol over here okay so see and again for connectivity between your branch and your data center like between see data center 1 and data center 2 we have reachability through what isp through isp maybe isp will have internal connectivity over here like this but you have only one path right let's say the this branch office want to access this data center one and let's say this isp is down so they can access the resources which is present in data center two so still one path is available but if you want more reliability right more redundancy redundancy between data centers and branch offices you can use you know multiple isps or you can use multiple services like mpls circuit maybe here you can have one multi mpls service and then your branches are connected like this through mpls also okay so you can design any topology but generally this is guys very simple topology and very easy topology to understand the routing protocol configuration fine now hope topology is clear to you right so i am going to move to the configuration part okay so guys first of all i am going to start configuration from this switch from this switch this switch first i am going to access this switch here i will configure the ip addresses like you can see between this switch distribution layer switch and r1 i am using this network 172.16.3.0 slash 30 dot one is the ip address on router side dot two is the ip address on um, distribution layer switch side right in the same way between the router one and router two means between edge router of your uh, branch and data center one you are running this subnet right so definitely through isp you will have public reachability between here to here right you will have public reachability and here i am going to configure bgps number 200 here we will configure bgps number 100 here we will configure bgps number 300 so here we will form bgp neighborship and here we will configure ospf here we will configure ospf here we will configure ospf then we will redistribute ospf into bgp and bgp into ospf right on all s devices so this is my guys uh, configuration and i will uh, start configuration from this switch first of all i am going to configure this switch then r1 then r then not r2 then this switch then r2 then this switch and then r3 okay so see first of all i am going to access distribution layer switch one this switch over here see i need to create how many svis guys over here two so first of all let me set host name distribution layer switch one fine then interface e0 slash one this interface would be trunk right so switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q and then say switch port mode trunk you can use dynamic routing protocol as well like dtp then interface e0 slash two this interface should also be configured as trunk so switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q and it will be better if i will use dtp because otherwise i have to configure access uh, layer switch as well right so let me do one thing switch port mode dynamic desirable and i'm going to do same thing on e0 slash one as well on zero slash one switch port mode dynamic desirable now so interface trunk so you can see 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 is configured as trunk now i need to create two svis over here so let me create interface vlan 10 and before that you have to create the vlan 
otherwise if you will not create it will uh, create vlan automatically once you will uh, assign ip address on vlan 10 interface okay because this is in virtual but let me create vlan 10 over here and let me give one name to this vlan let's say campus campus underscore one and then vlan 20 and let me give name to this vlan is name campus underscore let's say two sorry vlan 20 and name this one correct then i need to create svi so interface vlan 10 and here i am going to define one ip from which subnet from 10.1.1.0 slash 24 subnet so let me configure here what 254 255.255.255.0 i am configuring last ip address of a subnet as default gateway right on the svi interface so this ip address will be default gateway for all the user in vlan 10 then i have to do same thing or we can run no set command as well i think in virtual i need to run this command no set okay then interface vlan 20 and ip address 20.1.1 not 20 10.1.2.254 255.255.255.0 correct and we can say no set okay guys now do so ip route so you can see the routing table of this switch right we have two network 10.1.1.0 10.1.2.0 fine okay now between distribution layer switch and router number one i am going to configure this uh, network 172.16.3.0 slash 30 so interface e0 slash 0 here i am going to say no set and ip address see i am not able to run ip address because by default this is switch port so first of all i have to run command what no switch port then ip address 172.16.3.2255.255.255.252 because slash value is 30 correct then ip routing let me enable routing as well over here and now if you will check routing table so ip root you can see okay this is routing table of distribution here switch one now definitely i need to configure ospf over here but i will configure ospf after configuring r1 or let me do one thing let me configure ospf first here okay say say router ospf and process one and then router id let me say router id what distribution layer switch one say 11.11.11 .11 .11 .11. any id you can configure as a router id then guys here i can advertise the networks with the help of which command with the help of network command or i can enable it on interface so let me do one thing let me run network command here so ip spf1 and then network which network 10.1.1.0 wildcard mask 0.0.255 and area 0 then network 10.1.2.0 0.0.255 and then guys area 0 fine and i need to advertise one more network that is 172.16. or uh, let me do one thing here i am going to run this command interface e0 slash 0 ip ospf ip ospf 1 area 0 and ip ospf network point to point here i have changed the network type as well for faster uh, you know convergence now so ip ospf interface brief you can see ospf is enabled on e0 slash 0 vlan 20 and vlan 10 fine so ip ospf database so under ospf database we are able to see one lsa one fine now guys i am going to access r1 so let me access r1 here and on r1 enable config t first of all again host name r1 then interface f 2 slash 0 which is connected with distribution layer switch say no set and then ip address over here is 172.16.3.1 255.255.255.252 fine then exit interface f 1 slash 0 which is connected with isp1 say no set and ip address over here will be 100.1.1.1 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
टू ओके एग्जिट देन इंटरफेस एफ जीरो स्लैश जीरो विच इज कनेक्ट विथ आई एस पी टू नो सट एंड आई पी एड्रेस वन हंड्रेड वन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट वन टू फाइव फाइव डॉट टू फाइव फाइव डॉट टू फाइव फाइव डॉट टू फिफ्टी टू फाइन नाउ आई नीड टू कन्फिगर ओ एस पी एफ ओवर हियर से रोटर ओ एस पी एफ वन एंड हियर आई एम गोइंग टू डिफाइन रोटर आई डी से वॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट वन एंड नाउ आई नीड टू एडवर्टाइज एफ जीरो एफ टू स्लैश जीरो इन ओ एस पी एफ ओनली ओनली आई एम गोइंग टू एडवर्टाइज दिस इंटरफेस इन ओ एस पी एफ राइट नोट यू विल एडवर्टाइज वैन इंटरफेस ओके गाइज सो लेट मी डू वन थिंग हियर लेट मी टेक यू टू इंटरफेस एफ टू स्लैश जीरो एंड से फर्स्ट आई पी ओ एस पी एफ नेटवर्क पॉइंट टू पॉइंट पॉइंट टू पॉइंट एंड देन आई पी ओ एस पी एफ वन एरिया जीरो नाउ आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग ओ एस पी एफ नेबरशिप बिटवीन आर वन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लेयर स्विच एंड यू कैन सी नाउ वी हैव ओ एस पी एफ नेबरशिप ओके एंड सो आई पी ओ एस पी एफ नेबर यू कैन रन दिस कमांड नेबर दिस कमांड सो यू कैन सी हु इज नेबर एलेवन डॉट एलेवन डॉट एलेवन डॉट एलेवन स्टेट इज फुल राइट वी डोंट हैव डी आर एंड बी डी आर हेयर बिकॉज वी हैव चेंज द नेटवर्क टाइप फाइन नाउ सो आई पी रॉट ओ एस पी एफ सो यू कैन सी दिस रॉटर कोर रॉटर हैव रिसीव यू नो टेन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट जीरो एंड टेन डॉट वन डॉट टू डॉट जीरो नेटवर्क ओके सो नाउ गेज दिस कोर फ्रॉम द कोर स्विच आई कैन पिंक टू दिस यूजर और दिस यूजर कैन पिंक टू कोर स्विच because this user will have what default gateway ip address default gateway ip address which is running on distribution layer switch 1 and over here we have ospf connectivity through r between r1 and distribution layer switch so this user can now ping my core router or my core router can ping these users so till now here we have reachability now let me move further now i am going to configure data center 1 so to configure data center 1 what you will do first you, let me take you to da data center 1 router means r2 not r2 i will start configuration from distribution layer switch 2 so this switch let me access this switch distribution layer switch 2 on this switch guys i need to create some svis but here as you can see we don't have any access layer switch so i am not going to configure trunk but in real time again i am telling you will have uh, connectivity between uh core layer and access layer through distribution layer so here you need to configure trunk as well like we have configured in the branch okay so host name distribution layer switch 2 and then vlan 10 on vlan 10 what ip address you are going to configure ip address see i am not able to run ip address on vlan 10 interface because vlan 10 is not available so let me do one thing Okay, let me create the vlan vlan 10 and name it let's say web right then vlan 20 name uh let's say what file exit vlan 30 name let's say anything pm okay exit so we have separated the services with the help of vlan in data center 1 now interface vlan 10 and on vlan 10 interface what ip address i am going to configure 10.1. sorry not 10192.168.1.1255 i am going to configure last ip address so see here slash value is 25 so last ip will be what 126 because 127 will be the broadcast address okay then 255.255.255.128 correct then interface vlan 20 and ip address on this interface will be 192.168.1.254 uh, and 255.255.255.128 exit interface vlan 30 ip address 192.168.2.254 255.255.255.1 fine now ip routing and do so ip route you can see the routing table here we are not able to see any route so interface vlan 10 20 and 30 how it will work 20 and 30 vlan 10 
oh sorry i need to put range command here interface range like this range 10 20 and 30 oh interface range vlan 10 vlan 20 and vlan 30 i need to say no set to these interfaces okay and so ip route now what is happening here so ip interface brief exclude and assign so line protocol of these interfaces are down status is also down line protocol is also down so vlan brief so we have vlans here you know what is happening because there there are uh, there is no any port in vlan 10 20 and 30 and there is no any trunk link so what i am going to do let me do one thing let me configure one port as a trunk port interface e0 slash 1 and switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q and switch port mode trunk switch port mode trunk now so ip route so ip route so ip interface brief still these svis interfaces are down 126 okay for vlan 10 that is correct let me do one thing here so interface trunk so we have trunk as well here now these interfaces has, are up so ip route now you can see the routing table of this switch it was taking some time don't worry this is virtual that's why now guys interface e0 slash 0 and here i think trunk is not required interface e0 slash 0 uh, switch port access vlan 10 sorry vlan 1 okay do so ip route okay now interface e0 slash 0 which is connected with your core layer means r2 here first you will run no switch port command and then you will define one ip address that is 172.16.16.1. Uh, let me use two over here dot two two five five two five five two five five dot zero i will configure one on router side then guys router ospf one and router id is let's say 22.22.22.22 and network 192.168. or i can advertise interfaces in ospf through uh, on uh, uh, interface basis so i can run command interface range f0 slash 0 after that note f e0 slash 0 e0 slash 0 then vlan 10 then vlan 20 and then vlan 30 right ip ospf 1 area 0 and i need to change network type on e0 slash 0 so say ip ospf network network point to point here fine so ip ospf interface brief so you can see ospf is enabled on all svis interface as well as on e0 slash 0 interface fine now guys i am going to access r2 core sorry uh, edge router of data center one so let me access this switch this router and here first i am going to configure host name then ip addresses after that ospf host name r2 then interface f1 slash 0 say no set ip at this over here it will be 172.16.1.1 i think 255.255.255.252 let me verify the ip on distribution here switch to guys so ip interface brief exclude unassigned so this side you can see i am using what 
dot two. So definitely on router I will use dot one. Okay. So IP configuration is correct. Then interface f zero slash zero no set which is connected with ISP one IP address one hundred one hundred dot one dot one dot two two five five two five five two five five dot two fifty two. After that I am going to configure OSPF between core core layer and distribution layer. So say router OSPF one and then router ID two dot two dot two dot two. After that interface F one slash zero IP OSPF network point two point and then IP OSPF one area zero. Right now I am expecting OSPF neighborship between distribution layer and core layer. Okay, so you can see now we have OSPF neighborship over here. Right, so IP OSPF neighbor and so IP OSPF interface brief. So I have advertised only this LAN interface in OSPF, not WAN interface, right? And so IP route OSPF. So you can see now this core uh, layer device have route for each VLANs of each VLANs. Okay. So this router is learning these all prefixes VLAN 10, 11, and 12. Okay. Now, guys, let me take you to data center 2. I am going to access distribution layer switch 3 first. On distribution layer switch 3, again configuration will be same like distribution layer switch 2. Config T, host name, distribution layer switch 3. Okay, then interface. First of all, let me create the VLAN, VLAN 10, and I am going to define name is what? Wave, then VLAN. VLAN 20 name again file exit VLAN 30 name PM fine then interface VLAN 10 IP address for VLAN 10 what will be my submit 192.168.10.126 255.255.255.128 exit interface VLAN 20 hope guys these things is clear to you because i am expecting you have basic knowledge of routing and switching right you know the submitting and uh, these things so fine then interface vlan 20 on vlan 20 interface i am going to define ip address uh, 192.168.120 192.168.120 10. Dot. here there is some mistake 10.128 it's 10.128 10.128 so 10. Dot, last ip address 254 then 255 255 255 dot 128 exit vlan 30 ip address vlan 30 ip address do so vlan brief so we have VLAN 30 as well. Okay. Interface VLAN 30 and IP address 192.168.20.254.255.255.255.0. Done. I've created the SVI over here. Now what I need to do, I need to verify the routing table. So IP route. So we don't have any route in the routing table. I need to run no set command because again this is virtual 10 vlan 20 and vlan 30 say no set in real time on real devices guys you don't need to run no set command on virtual interfaces again my virtual these interfaces are down but it will come up wait for some time then till then let me configure e0 slash 0 0 slash 0 say no switch port and then ip address 172.16.2.2255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255
33 dot 33 let's say then guys i need to advertise interfaces in ospf so interface range vlan 10 vlan 20 and vlan 30 as well as as well as e0 slash 0 ip ospf 1 area 0 now interface e0 slash 0 here i am going to change the network type so ip ospf network let me say point to point correct now so ip interface brief so these interfaces are still down let me verify on distribution layer switch to so ip route okay so ip interface brief yeah so ip ospf neighbor yes here everything is fine and then why not these interfaces are up interface e0 slash 1 switch port more switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q and switch port mode trunk just i have configured one interface as trunk to check yeah because of trunk it was not working but as i told you in real time guys you will have lots of access layer switches over here right and link between access layer and distribution layer will be trunk okay so fine now you can verify the routing table of this switch so ip route so we have only this network till now so ip interface brief still these interfaces are down mm -hmm. so vlan brief okay and so ip interface brief now you can see these interfaces are up and now you can verify the routing table so ip route okay so it is taking lots of time right because this is virtual now guys i am going to access r3 uh, edge router of data center 2 so let me access r3 and on r3 first of all let me set the host name enable config t host name r3 and then interface f0 slash f1 slash 0 lan interface say no shut and ip address over here 172.16.2.1255255255.1 ip ospf 1 sorry ospf 1 network point to point here i have defined the network type as well and a router ospf 1 router id 3.3.3.3 .3 and let me advertise osp let me advertise f1 slash 0 in ospf interface f1 slash 0 ip ospf 1 area 0 now we are expecting ospf neighborship till then let me configure ip on van interface 0 slash 0 say no set ip address uh, 101 dot 1 dot 2 255.255.255.252 and you can see now we have ospf neighborship as well right so ip ospf neighbor okay and so ip route ospf so this router have learned on this network this network and this network all three networks right from uh, distribution layer switch 3 now ospf configuration is done guys inside my branch or inside my data center 1 and data center 2 i have configured the igp protocol right that is my ospf so on all edge router like on router number 1 you can see in real time also first of all on your all edge router you should have all internal routes in routing table right through igp protocol so so ip route ospf because here my igp routing protocol is ospf so you can see i have these two network right vlan 10 and vlan 20 on r2 so ip route ospf we have on order number two i am learning this network also 172.16.1.1.0 slash 24 again there is some misconfiguration between 
uh, R2 and distribution layer switch 2. So IP interface brief exclude unassigned. So IP interface brief exclude unassigned. So run interface F1 slash 0. So here submit mask is correct. Let me take you to distribution layer switch 2. So run interface E0 slash 0. Here submit mask is you can see incorrect. Right. So let me correct it. Interface E0 slash 0 IP address 172.16.1.2 and 255.255.255.252. Now on router number 2 you can verify the routing table. So IP route OSPF. Now you can see it is learning these three networks only. Correct. In the same way on R3 also you can verify it. So IP route OSPF. Okay. So it, this router is also learning these three network. Now guys we need to verify the reachability public reachability between all edge devices like here to here and here to here. So from router number one, I'm going to ping both is router R2 and R3. So ping 100.1.1.2 is the IP address of R2. So see, I'm able to ping right in the same way. I'm going to ping R3 also 101.1.1.2. So yes, you can see I'm able to ping R3 also. Now I'm going to configure BGP between R1 and R2 as well as between R2, R1 and R3. So on R1, I'm going to configure BGP as number 100. So config T, router BGP as number 100 and say neighbor. Who is neighbor? 100.1.1.2 and remote AS of neighbor is guys 200. Correct? Correct? Now let me take you to router number 2. Here I have one more neighbor that is 101.1.1.2 and remote AS of this neighbor is 300. I'm talking about R3. Now let me take you to R2. On router number 2 I'm going to configure BGPS number 200. Say router BGPS number 200 and who is neighbor? 100.1.1.1 and remote AS of this neighbor is 100. Now I am expecting BGP neighbors between R1 and R2. Just wait for some time because BGP is slow protocol. So maybe it will take some time. So IP BGP summary. Yes. And you can see the log message as well. So we have BGP neighborship between R1 and R2. In the same way, I need to form BGP neighborship between R1 and R3 also. So let me take you to R3 now. On R3, configure T router bgp 300 and say neighbor 101.1.1.1 and remote as of this neighbor is 100 now i am expecting bgp neighborship between r1 and r3 as well so wait yes you can see now I have BGP neighborship between R1 and R3 also. So IP BGP summary, right? But guys, now I am not receiving any route through BGP, right? But now what I need to do, I need to exchange prefixes, right? Like these prefixes uh, should be in the branch office or should be in data center too. In the same way, this, these prefixes should be in the branch office as well as in data center one, right? and these prefixes should be in data center 2 and 1 okay so like for you know verification what you can do before redistribution redistributing OSPF into BGP you can run one command on router number 1 just to check that router 1 is advertising prefixes to router number 2 and 3 or not for that what I am going to say router BGP is number 100 and let me say re redistribute 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 connected right means it will advertise which network 172.16.3.0 and these two network means connected network so IP BGP so yes you can see it have 
install these all prefixes in, in their BGP table and now it will advertise to router number 2. So let me take you to R2 and here also I am going to run so IP BGP command so you can see this router is receiving these all prefixes from router number 1 right and so IP route BGP it have learned these two prefixes through BGP in the same way on router number 3 so IP BGP so yes you can see uh, this router is also receiving all prefixes from router number 1 and so IP route BGP so it have installed these two prefixes in their BGP table this was just for verification right but I want to advertise my branch office prefixes to router number 2 and router number 3 right so I need to redistribute OSPF prefixes into BGP OSPF prefixes into BGP so let me take you to R1 again on router number 1 and guys there are many more verification command that you can run over here like to check what prefixes router 1 is advertising to router number 2 and router number 3 we can run this command so IP BGP neighbor 100.1.1.2 and uh, let me say advertised root so you can see it is advertising these three prefixes three prefixes total number of prefixes is three it is advertising three prefixes to router number two in the same way to this neighbor 100 1.1.2 it is advertising 101.1.2 it is advertising these three prefixes right so total number of prefixes are three that router one is advertising to their neighbor to which neighbor to this neighbor 100 1.1.1.2 to this neighbor okay from router number one I am going to remove redistribute connected command because I am going to advertise my branch offices prefixes to data center one and data center two so router BGP 100 and say no redistribute connected then I am going to say what redistribute OSPF and if you will put question mark over here it is asking for process ID so process ID is one that's it guys let me hit enter now so IP BGP so you can see it have installed these two prefix in their BGP table right these two prefix in their BGP table okay and this is self advertise prefix clear IP BGP star soft in and so IP BGP fine so there is no change why this prefix is here I don't want this one so run section bgp redistribute ospf process one so ip route ospf so it should advertise only these two prefix okay wait for some time let me take you to r2 first on r2 i am going to clear ip bgp star soft in and then so ip bgp so guys see router number two is learning these two prefixes these two prefixes are present in branch office correct so now we have advertised my branch office prefixes to data center one to data center one and to data center two also to router number three also you can verify so ip bgp correct now if you don't want to advertise this network right what you can do here on router number one you can filter this prefix right I can use a prefix list or I can use a route map give me a point like what I can say IP prefix list and let's say prefix list is advertise R1 right and then permit which network you want to permit 10.1.1.1 10.1. Let's say 0. 0 slash 16 greater than equal to 24 and less than equal to 24 and rest prefix should be denied. So IP prefix list same name advertise underscore R1 and say deny 000 slash 0 less than equal to 32. Now I can apply I can call this prefix list with neighbor. So router BGP yes number 100 and say neighbor 101 100.1.1.2 1 
and use what prefix list which prefix list advertise advertise underscore r1 getting my point r1 and then direction in which direction i will apply it in odd direction now on daughter number two if you will clear the bgp table and if you will verify the bgp table again clear ip bgp star shop in and so ip bgp so now you can see router one is advertising only these two prefixes and only these two prefixes are important right i don't want to advertise this prefix to data center getting my point so that's why i have filtered it in the same way i can create one more prefix list on router number four router number one four router number three right or i can use this uh, prefix list as well because this time i am advertising same prefixes to both neighbor to router number two also and to router number three also but let's say here in this branch office you have 500 prefixes you want to advertise 300 prefixes to router number two and you want to advertise only 100 prefixes to router number three so in this scenario you need to create two prefix list but here i can use same prefix list right but in real time generally you will have two prefix list over here one with prefix list name let's say advertise underscore r3 r3 this prefix list here name should be what r2 name should be r2 right or here you can use name r3 means advertise to r2 advertise to r3 so this these are rot filtering here i am not uh, to discuss rot filtering so leave it just i am going to apply that prefix list for uh, router number three also so router bgp s number 100 and say neighbor 101.1.1.2 and call to prefix list prefix list name is advertise r1 that's it and then direction out okay now again on router number three if you will clear the bgp table clear ip bgp star soft in and now if you will check bgp table so ip bgp you can see it is receiving only these two prefixes so this time router one is advertising only these two prefixes to their neighbor i need to do same thing on router number two and router number three also guys because from router number two i am going to advertise these three prefixes to branch office so let me take you to r2 on r2 config t router bgp s number 200 and say redistribute ospf process one correct so ip bgp so you can see it have installed this this and this prefix in their bgp table and now router 2 will advertise it to router number one so let me take you to r1 and here so ip bgp so you can see router 1 is learning 192.168.1.0 right 1.0 this prefix this one 1.0 192.168.1.0 slash 24 128.25 and 2.0 with slash 24 also it is advertising this network you can see 172.16.1.0 slash 30 so if you don't want to advertise this network what you can do you can create one prefix list over here so guys let me do it simply on order number 2 I am going to create one prefix list IP prefix list advertise advertise r2 and then permit uh, permit which network 192.168. let's say 0 dot 0 slash 16 greater than or equal to 24 and less than or equal to 24 and then ip prefix list let me copy the name okay and then deny 000, 000 slash 0 less than equal to what 32 done now on order number one you can refresh the bgp table clear ip bgp star shop in and so ip bgp now this router this router is still receiving this network now 1.0 just wait clear ip bgp star shop in yes it is still receiving oh i have not 
apply it with neighbor so router bgp and before that if you want to verify the prefix list so ip prefix list so you can see here we have one prefix list with this name okay let me copy the name and i am going to apply it with neighbor so router bgp s number 200 say neighbor 100.1.1.1 uh, and uh, call to prefix list with name what this and direction out that's it now if you will run clear ip bgp star soft in command here soft in and now if you will check bgp table now you can see 172 dot uh, now i am not getting these prefixes also this one is fine 3.0 3.0 from where 3.0 okay this is fine 192 160.1.0 okay i have to troubleshoot it on router number two what is problem so ip bgp neighbor 100.1.1.1 and advertised route so this router is advertising only this network here it is advertising only this network why so ip prefix list in prefix list we are saying what oh greater than or equal to you can say 24 and less than or equal to what 24 so that's why so what i can do here simply i can modify the prefix list ip do so ip prefix list and then let me remove this command oh do so run and section ip prefix list i have to remove this command let me copy it say no to this right and then I am going to say IP prefix list name will be same advertise R2 and then here I am going to define sequence number same 5 otherwise it will take 15 then say permit 192.168.10.0 slash 16 and greater than or equal to 24 right and less than or equal to what 32 I can say 32 right now so ip prefix list okay now my prefix list looks fine now on router number one clear ip bgp star soft in and so ip bgp so now you can see i am learning this 192.168.1.128 network 1.0 and 2.0 fine now i am going to configure bgp on router number means i am going to advertise these prefixes data center two prefixes to router number one right so let me take you to r3 and again here router number three will advertise this prefix also 172 prefix so i don't want to advertise it so let me do one thing let me create one prefix list over here ip prefix list name advertise underscore r3 and then permit which network 192.168.0.0 slash 16 and then greater than or equal to 24 right ip prefix list with name same let me copy the name and then i am going to say what deny 0.0.0 slash .0, 0 less than or equal to 32 right router bgp 300 and redistribute ospf process 1 and then neighbor 101.1.1.1 call to prefix list which prefix list this prefix list let me copy it and I am going to apply it in odd direction out okay now guys so IP BGP neighbor 101.1.1.1 and advertise route so you can see it is not advertising any prefix so IP prefix list 192 168.0.0 slash 16 greater than or equal to 24 permit and deny okay so run section bgp so is there any mistake advertise underscore r3 direction out neighbor is also fine so everything is correct here it should advertise yes now you can see it is advertising three prefixes these three prefixes right it is not advertising 172.16.2.0 so on router number one 
on router number one you can check the bgp table so ip bgp so ip bgp so you can see i am receiving these three prefixes of data center one and these three prefixes of data center two correct guys if you want to check from uh, individual neighbor you can run this command so ip bgp and the neighbor 100.1.1.2 and received route received route so inbound soft reconfiguration is not enabled you can enable it or simply you can run this command route only here so it will show you all received route from this particular neighbor right or you can enable this feature also bgp 100 and say neighbor 100.1.1.2 and soft reconfiguration in bond right now i can run this command so ip bgp neighbor 100 100.1.1.2 received route right so you can see this router is receiving these three prefixes from r2 right in the same way i can check what prefixes this router is learning from which neighbor from router number 3 101.1.1.2 and route okay so I'm, this router is learning these three prefixes from router number one okay so till now guys what we did we advertise this prefix these all prefixes to router number one these all prefixes to router number one as well as these prefixes to router number two as well as router number three but router number two is not going to advertise any bgp prefixes to this distribution layer switch router three is also not going to advertise any bgp root to distribution layer switch and router one is also not going to advertise bgp root to distribution layer switch so again this user cannot communicate with this server or this server right because problem is what problem is you can see distribution layer switch one on distribution layer switch one so ip route still we don't have you know data center one prefixes and data center two prefixes so actually this time we need to redistribute bgp prefixes into ospf because on this router we have two protocol right one is ospf another one is bgp bgp so we have some prefixes in bgp routing table we have some prefixes in ospf table so we have redistributed ospf prefixes in bgp correct so that's why router one have advertised all prefixes all web ospf prefixes to router number two that means this this prefix and this prefix but here we have not redistribute bgp into ospf so that's why router one is not advertising these prefixes to distribution layer switch one so i need to redistribute now bgp into ospf on all edge router so let me take you to r1 first here go to router bgp as number 100 sorry router ospf one and say redistribute bgp as number 100 and then subnet okay guys then if you want to configure the metric type you can configure now if you will check distribution layer once switch routing table so ip route now you can see you have these external prefixes right so these are prefixes of data center one and these are prefixes of data center two correct in the same way on distribution layer switch two if you will run so ip rot if you will check routing table of distribution layer switch 2 so ip rot you can see this order is not receiving any external prefixes right so on r2 also we need to redistribute bgp into ospf so let me take you to r2 config t router ospf 1 and redistribute bgp as number 200 and say subnet correct now again let me show you the routing table of distribution layer switch 2 now you can see just wait clear ip route star so ip route why it is not receiving redistribute bgp 200 submit okay this redistribution is correct here so ip 
BGP. In the BGP table, we have these prefixes. We have these prefixes. Mm. And so run section OSPF redistribute BGP 200. Here I am running BGP 200. That is correct, guys. Then this router, yes, now you can see it's taking some time, right? Now you can see we have external prefixes, right? And but again, we don't have prefixes of data center 3 right these are prefixes of branch office okay so wait now i am going to first perform redistribution on router number 3 router number 3 router ospf process 1 say redistribute bgp as number 300 and subnet now distribution layer switch 3 should also receive external prefixes so ip route yes distribution layer switch have received these two prefix branch office prefix now guys if branch office user want to communicate with data center 1 and data center 2 let me verify they are able to communicate or not so let me access distribution layer switch 1 and see on distribution layer switch 1 so ip interface brief my lan interfaces are vlan 10 and vlan 20 so from vlan 10 interface from this source if I am able to ping distribution layer switch to LAN interface, that means end to end reachability is there, right? So, this is my distribution layer switch 1 and this is my distribution layer switch 2. On distribution layer switch 2, means I am talking about the data center 1. So, IP interface brief exclude unassigned. So, on VLAN 10 interface, which IP address is running? This one, right? So, let me check that guy's connectivity. Ping. 192.168.1.126 and source is 10.1.1.256 and see there is reachability right there is reachability that means now end to end reachability is there in the same way i can ping uh, second interface also another lan interface like 1.254 so see i am able to ping this interface also i can check another LAN interface that is 3.2.254 2.254 so yes you can see I am able to ping this IP address also in the same way from the another source also like from department 2 10.1.2.254 from VLAN 20 interface also I am able to ping right so there is reachability between branch and data center 1 now let me verify the connectivity between branch and data center 2 so on data center 2 lan interfaces are so ip interface brief exclude and assign so these are my lan interfaces correct guys so let me take you to r1 sorry distribution layer switch 1 and from their uh, lan interface i am going to ping data center 2 ping 192.168.10.126 and source 10.1.1.254 you can see i am able to ping right lan other lan interface means 10.254 yes 10.254 i am not able to ping 10.254 10.254 so 10. Dot sorry 254 now it's 153 my mistake 254 yes i am able to ping right there is reachability and then 20.254 also correct from the other source from other source 2.224 means from the vlan 20 interface also i am able to ping so now guys there is reachability now last thing is why data center one don't have prefixes of data center 2 or data center 2 don't have prefixes of data center 1 like you can see here on router number 1 not 1 on router number 2 so ip or not router number 2 you can check it on distribution layer switch 2 as well or here i can check so ip bgp 
in the bgp table so ip bgp neighbor 100.1.1.1 and received route or simply i can say route show me the route received from this neighbor okay from this neighbor so it is receiving only these two prefixes why because of prefix list guys in prefix list we have only permitted these two network right this is the reason why router 2 is not receiving prefixes of data center 3 so if i will remove the uh, sorry uh, prefix list or if you want to allow these prefixes as well so you you have to modify the prefix list but as i told you here we are not going to discuss the rot filtering video length is uh, around one hour so let me do one thing let i am not going to modify the prefix list simply i am going to remove the prefix list configuration from here okay so router bgp yes number 100 and do so run section bgp or router bgp let me remove uh, this prefix list command say no to this command as well as say no to this command okay now according to your require requirement you can create the prefix list and you can apply it now again i am going to take you to r2 and this time on r2 if you will clear ip bgp star soft in command and see so ip bgp now so ip bgp and neighbor 100.1.1.1 routes so see from this neighbor this time router 2 is receiving prefixes of branch office as well as prefixes of data center 2 correct guys in the same way on router number 3 also you can verify it that router 3 is receiving prefixes of data center 1 or not so ip bgp neighbor 101.1.1.1 and route so yes it is receiving all prefixes of data center 1 as well right and there is reachability so guys today in this video we discussed how to configure ospf and bgp in data center type scenarios hope this video is helpful for you you have learned something from this video if answer is yes if you have learned something from this video guys please hit on like button if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel and uh, we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye guys that's all for today thanks for